How you doing, Jersey? I'm Brian Donio. I'm here with Star Ledger editorial page editor Tom Moran at the State House in Trenton, where Governor Chris Christie just gave his 2016 presidential kickoff speech. I'm, I mean, the um, State, State of, of the, the Union. State. State of the State. That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> Don't forget that. State it of could the be State. mistaken because I, I, he didn't talk about the big problems that New Jersey faces. The big ones being transportation trust fund, where the bulldozers are about to stop because it's broke and uh, the pension and health care crisis, which last year he mentioned nine times and said we have to face the tough choices and fix this. And since then he's proposed nothing, and he proposed nothing today. So maybe it went away. <laughs> it would be a nice thing, but Wall Street has lowered our bond rating over and over. We're now the second lowest in the country, uh, and they keep citing the pension and health problem and the transportation trust fund. Details, so he- <laughs> details, details. Drug <laughs> rehab, that was a th- something he talked about. Atlanta. I couldn't believe how long he went on about that. Yeah, uh, I think somebody told me it was 11 minutes. And, you know, the man seems absolutely sincere on that issue to me. And he volunteered before he was governor on the board of uh, Daytop Drug Treatment Place in Morris County. And the, the making the anti-overdose drug available to first responders and ambulances and cops saved nearly 500 lives. So it's a solid gain. The problem is the crisis really is there is a shortage of treatment slots in New Jersey. And he's done very little to address that because that costs money. So that's a small government. It's tough to really answer this problem with that philosophy. And there was some red meat in there for would-be Republican primary voters in there, too, saying we shrink the budget. Uh, big, he had a line in there about making government smaller and smaller. So how does that drive with trying yeah. to create more drug rehab? Yeah, plus don't forget cutting taxes. I mean, you know, how do you, in our fiscal crisis, cut taxes and spend money on anything? I mean, how you even... Is, is beyond me. Uh, I don't think you can do that. He did tick off a bunch of things that the Republican base would like: uh, school vouchers, uh, you know, the fewer state employee state employees on the whole. Uh, called for the a need still for pension and health reform that he still doesn't deliver, but presumably he will before the budget address in February. Got to come up with something. Okay, Dems criticized as quickly uh, Senate President Steve Sweeney borrowing a line from Seinfeld. It was a state of the state about nothing. I said. can't believe you're saying that because the lead of my column is about Seinfeld. Oh, folks, erase that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goddamn lead of my column. Uh, but yeah, great minds think alike. <laughs> and there was Jim Florio I talked to on the floor right afterwards, and he was stunned. You know, he's such an earnest wonk, and he's like, "How could he not address these big questions? It's inexplicable." But you know, Christie's not a wonk; he's a politician and an ambitious one. And this was a speech not tailored to fix New Jersey's problems. This was a speech intended to launch his campaign. All right. Well, he says he'll be back next year, right? He Christy. says he'll be back. That doesn't mean he won't run. Will he, he be given the speech, or will he be sitting next to Governors Byrne and Florio <laughs> over here? <laughs> no, he'll definitely remain in office. Even if he runs, there's no reason for him to step down. They usually don't. You know, governors and senators, uh, McCain, Obama, uh, you know, uh, Clinton, mm-hmm. Bush, they don't step down. They run for office and keep their government paychecks. Right. All right, Tom, thanks a lot. From the State House in Trenton, take it easy, Jersey.